In this new tutorial from VideoProc, I'll show you how to easily trim a video. It doesn't matter if your video is 4K, Full HD, MP4, MKV, it doesn't matter. It's all the same and super simple to do. Trimming a video is basically cutting out a smaller section out of a longer video. Like when you want to remove the beginning and end of a clip. So if you have a 40 second video, for example, but you only need 20 seconds of it, you can trim it down to 20 seconds and I'll show you how in a minute. If you're new to the VideoProc channel, make sure to subscribe to get our latest actionable step-by-step -step tutorials on video editing, converting and processing. Now, let's start streaming a video. All right, so let's trim a video using VideoProc Converter. And to do that, once you open the, the software, you gotta click the icon on the left that says video. And now let's import our source video. And to do that, you can, um, you can either click this button to navigate anywhere on your computer to find the, the video, or to make things a little bit easier, you can just drag and drop it if you have it in a folder uh, or somewhere on your desktop. You can just drag and drop it here into the software. And now, in order to start a cut or a trim, you just gotta click this button here on the left that says cut. And this is super simple to use. You just have to drag the, um, the green knobs here to make a selection. So let's say, for example, we're looking at this video, right? There's a bunch of uh, people lighting up some uh, small fireworks, but it's taking forever. And let's say I want a bit in the middle where everyone finished that. So I'll just uh, use my start point here and drag this other one at the end all the way to here. So this is um, anywhere from 33 seconds to 42 seconds. So that's like around 10 seconds, right? And when I'm done with my selection and happy with it, I can click this orange button to add the cut basically. And now let's say I wanna do another cut at the end and I can um, move both of them here to get another 10 seconds from the end of them just having fun with the fireworks. And again, I can use this uh, orange button to add a second cut. And what's gonna happen now if I export this as it is, it's basically going to take out this first part right here, and then it's going to continue it with this second part right here. And uh, we can make further changes to both cuts right here. For example, if I click the edit button, I can, um, go very specific to the exact second where I want it to start or end. Or if I don't want the second cut, I can just click this uh, X button to remove it. So now let's click uh, done. And uh, to export it, you can select multiple different formats, but I suggest you go here on the bottom where it says popular on the popular tab and select MP4, which is, um, a very popular format that offers probably the widest compatibility. And then here on the right where it says output folder, you can navigate to save to a specific folder on your computer. In our case, right now it says desktop. And when you're ready, you just click the big blue button that says run. All right, now let's crop a video using VideoProc Vlogger. So I just uh, opened up the software and first I have to create a new project and I'm just gonna call it trim. And next inside the, the software, I have to first import my source video inside what is called a media library here on the top left. And to do that, you can just click this plus button, which will take you to navigate anywhere on your computer where you have the video. In my case, it's here on the desktop. So I'll just double click on it to import it. And now from the media library, I can drag and drop it on the timeline. And on the timeline is where you can trim the video and do some other cool editing as well. But for the sake of this video, we'll just look at trimming it. So it's basically from the beginning of the video here and it just keeps going. As you can see, the red playhead just represents the position in time. So in order to trim it, it's super simple. You just grab it here at the end, for example. Say you wanna remove the part at the end, you just grab it here and then you 
drag like this. And when I'm gonna release the mouse, it's literally gonna remove that entire part on the right. And now let's say I also want to remove, I don't know, let's say I want the video to start here. Yeah, looks, looks good. And let's say I want to remove the entire part in the beginning. So to trim that part, you just grab it on the other edge here on the left, drag all the way to the red playhead. And again, keep in mind, this is removing that part on the left completely. And now watch what happens when I release the mouse. It's literally going to snap my new cut all the way to the beginning of the timeline. There you go. And now let's just quickly play this back and see, see what we have. So it's around 11 seconds. Everyone has their fireworks out. And you can use the software to do some further editing, add some music, some effects, cut some other footage. And when you're done, you can click this button here where it says export. And you will have to select the file name and an output folder on your computer. And for the settings, I would leave everything as it is by default. And the only one I would change is the quality, make sure that is on high. And then click start to start exporting. All right, so we just looked at two different options. As you can probably tell from the name, they both come from the same company, Vitaproc. But here's how they're different. Vitaproc Converter is an all-in-one video processing, editing, and converting tool. It has a free version, but only for videos up to five minutes in length. While Vitaproc Vlogger is a video editing software that's completely free and has no limits or watermarks. Now, how do you choose the right video trimmer from the two? If you want to add music or edit your footage, you should go with Vitaproc Vlogger. But if you want to just quickly trim your video directly, you should choose Vitaproc Converter. However, it's important to mention that at the moment, Vitaproc Vlogger can only process MP4 and MKV videos. So for any other format, you'd have to choose Vitaproc Converter. Now let's answer some uh, frequent questions that we get in the comments. Number one, is there a way to add audio to a video as I haven't found it yet? Yes, absolutely. Vitaproc Converter cannot add audio to a video, but you can use Vitaproc Vlogger to easily do that. Question number two, does it support the .webm format? The answer to that is yes as well. Vitaproc Vlogger doesn't, but you can open any format you want in Vitaproc Converter as it supports 370 input codecs and 420 plus output formats. All right, that's today's video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about today's tutorial in the comments below, or if you're using another solution to trim your videos, let us know. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them. If you found this video useful, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome tutorials like this one. See you soon. Thank you.